Star projectors Pray into the ceiling God can help us Lost a blessing Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. How are you guys doing today? Comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the Angels Academy, a God ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable and to grow into the fullness of God. So if you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button, come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know I love you so much. Without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Hold up, family, because I'm trying to get my mic right. So let me just take a second while I'm getting this mic together and thank the Super Chat family. I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for sewing into God's vision here on the channel. To all of my moderating sisters, thank you guys for helping moderate the channel, keeping this a safe and clean community because y'all know sometimes that chat gets crazy, okay? If you have not purchased your holy anointed oils yet, stop what you're doing. Go down below and click the link to go over and get Holy oils. So we are on the road to 50,000 angels and I love and appreciate you guys so much. You guys know that I cannot do it without you guys. So I just need you guys to continue to share the videos, right? Pause this video right now and thumbs it up, right? It's free to support and um, I just really just want to thank you guys. Okay, family, you guys know what we do. Check in down below. Since I'm present, I'm present for class. I'm ready for the word today. Greet one another, welcoming all of the new angels to the family. Come on, family. Y'all get your Bibles, okay? I got my Bible, okay? Comment down below. Since I got my Bible, I got my Bible so you know it's real. Glory be to God. So I'm going to dive in this word today. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today, despite everything that is going on in the world. Glory be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody comment down below in it. Glory be to God, because you guys know that, you know, tomorrow is not promised. So this is the time to really just stay in position, to really just stay close to God and do the right things. Glory be to God. So let's just take a second and invite God in because you guys know that we do nothing here without God. I don't know what y'all doing with everybody else, but over here at the Angels Academy, we do nothing here without God. So dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you, Father. I want to thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your protection, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you for leading us and guiding us, Lord. I want to thank you for this new season that we are walking into, Lord Jesus. We trust you, Father, even though we don't understand exactly what it is that's going on, Lord Jesus. Jesus. I just want to let you know that we trust you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Father, for the purpose that you have called upon our lives, Lord Jesus, and that the prophecy must be fulfilled, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you for destroying anything of the enemy, anything of evil in their life in the name of Jesus. Speak to your people today, Father, whatever it is that you want them to know today, Father, ask that you use me today to speak to your people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Comment down below, amen, so I know it's real. I got to know it's real. So can y'all hear me good? Hello. <laughs> Somebody comment down below. Sis, we hear you. Glory be to God. So God told me to title this video today. The closer you get to the next dimension, the bigger the distractions. Glory be to God. And what God is saying today is that you're going to have to focus in this season. Because if you lose your focus, you will lose in the thing that God is calling you to do. Glory be to God. Somebody comment down below. Sis, this is my word. If this is your word today. I mean, I'm already getting chills myself so the Holy Spirit is in the room and I do believe that God is going to confirm this word for you and what God is saying is that in this new season that you are walking into distraction is going to be the greatest enemy of your next level glory be to God somebody comment down below I can't get distracted focus 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 don't let anybody break your focus if you lost it let it go if it's falling apart don't resist it and you know what God was saying to me God was like you know what? If you respond to the problem, then you automatically lose your focus. And when you lose your focus, you lose sight of the vision. Glory be to God. And God is like, I will handle all of this, right? I need you to focus on that. And I just feel led to say, let whoever think whatever, keep it moving. If this is your word today, God sent me here to let you know that your focus is under attack. Keep your eyes on the prize. I don't care who you got to delete. Glory be to God. I don't care who you got to block, block them. I don't care who you got to ignore, ignore them. I don't know who you need to say no to. No means no. Because this season is about you. Glory be to God. 
This season is about what God has for you. Glory be to God. This season is about what God is about to do through you. And you know what? God led me over to Matthew, okay? Chapter 14, and we got to read this. I want to put the focus on Peter in this text. Let's just take a second and look at it and walk through it as a family. Come on, y'all. So Jesus walks on water, verse 22. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake while he sent the people home. After sending them home, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from the land. For a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came towards them walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried out, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage, I am here. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? When he climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. The disciples worshipped him. You really are the son of God, they exclaimed. So glory be to God and God bless the word today. Listen to me. So when we are reading this, we realize that the disciples is out here in this boat and here comes a storm. Okay, all of these heavy winds, everything is out of control. So in this moment, Jesus steps in and he's there to give them comfort. He's like, take courage. I am here. Glory be to God. So Peter is having this moment where he's just terrified and just doubt and everything like listen lord if it's you just let me know so i can come to you right tell me to come to you walking on this water so jesus tell him come on come on out here let's go and as soon as peter begins to step out here comes the strong winds and the strong waves to terrify him and you know what God was saying to me, y'all? In this moment, Peter loses his focus. Glory be to God. He took his eyes off of the prize. He took his eyes off of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. He took his eyes off of the promise that God said that I am here for you. Glory be to God. The Bible tells us that Peter begins to sink. He shouted out, save me, Lord. Peter felt to realize that God wasn't going to let him drown. No way. I love that it says Jesus immediately reached out. Glory be to God. Somebody comment down below immediately. The minute they went to crawl back into that boat, the, the, the wind stopped. Glory be to God. God said, why did you doubt me? Woo. Oh, ye of little faith. I don't know who this word belongs to, but God is about to do something in your life. Glory be to God. I feel led to say somebody is about to walk on water and the devil is mad. Okay. So he's trying to send all these distractions your way. Somebody comment down below. I got to stay focused. And you know what God mean? The Bible tells us that Peter could swim. Glory be to God. So I had to ask myself, how is it that Peter started to sink if he could actually swim? And you know what? God was like, Peter started to sink because he lost his focus. Glory be to God. You got to catch this message in the spirit. So as long as Peter focused, he was able to walk on water. Glory be to God. So you know what happened? Peter was under pressure so he forgot what he was capable of doing. Glory be to God. This is a message for somebody. When you get up under that pressure and you start to lose your focus, you start to forget what you're capable of actually doing. Glory be to God. You start to forget all the things you actually overcame. Listen to me. Somebody comment down below. I almost forgot. Glory be to God. And God is just so good in his word today. And I just wanted to say that, you know how when you're so stressed out and life is throwing so many things at you at one time and you you fighting the devil glory be to god you got all of this weight on you it's so normal for us as humans the first response is like to tense up glory be to god to hold your breath this is why you feel like that lump is in your throat glory be to god when you are under pressure you got to keep breathing this is what god is saying today you got to release that pressure you got to breathe some somebody need to breathe right now go ahead <sighs> breathe that was actually refreshing, wasn't it, y'all? <laughs> and you know, God was just saying to me, don't get so stressed out that you forget to swim. Glory be to God. I feel like somebody almost forgot what they was capable of doing. 
if this is your word today, God has sent me here to tell you that the things that you are worried about today, they do not deserve your attention. Glory be to God. They do not deserve your focus. It's definitely not worth the vision. Glory be to God. You're going to be able to look back and see like, wow, those things really didn't matter for where God was taking me. It's not hard to focus. It's really just a matter of letting go of the things that you don't need to carry yourself. Glory be to God. Because the Bible tells us to cast our cares on God because he cares about us. So then that takes me to my next point. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stressing and worrying. Glory be to God. Reacting over everything the devil throws your way. And you know what, family? If this is your word today, this is your year of fulfillment, saith the Lord. This is the year where you will begin to see what you struggle for come to pass. This is the year where your hunger and your thirst will finally be satisfied, saith the Lord. This is a big year for you. Like, this is a big year for you. And God is saying today that you got to get through this to get to that. Glory be to God. This, this is not something that you can just skip over, if that makes any sense to you guys. This is the year where all of your weeping, all of those struggles, listen to me. All of those sleepless nights will become insignificant. As you see what you prayed for begin to materialize in your life. All those struggles, all those things that you went through, it's going to seem so, so small compared to all of the big, 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 big things that God has for you. But it's so important for you to be focused this year. And God is like, distractions are inevitable. Believe me, storms will come. And these distractions are meant to disorient your thinking. Glory be to God. To raise up a spirit of confusion. We know that our God doesn't operate in confusion. All of this is going on to draw you away from your purpose. The enemy is trying to kill your dreams. He wants to frustrate you and bring discouragement. And listen to me, he will use every avenue in this season to do it. Family, friends, right? So-called friends, colleagues, co-workers, exes, what? Even other Christians, glory be to God. And God is saying today, family, remain focused. You have a dream, you have a vision, and you have a destination. Glory be to God. Move accordingly. Your greatest weapon in this season will be inquiring of the Lord and obeying him and what he tells you to do. The Bible tells us that when David was anointed king, the Philistines came at him. But David inquired of the Lord. Look, we got to take a look at this. Second Samuel 5, 17. It says, and when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David. They pulled up, y'all. And David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. Glory be to God. David went down into a stronghold and to that perfect place where he could meet God and pray and inquire. Glory be to God. So that he can get a word from the Lord. This is not the season to take things into your own hands and to react. Glory be to God. Go down into that stronghold. David refused to be distracted. Rather, he went down and he went to the Lord for counsel. And the Lord advised David on what to do and he did it. So the Philistines came back a second time and the Bible says he went again to the Lord and obeyed him and he had a breakthrough. Glory be to God. Sometimes it takes for you to do that thing again for you to get a breakthrough. Glory be to God. Sometimes you got to endure just a little bit longer until you see that breakthrough. Glory be to God. Your breakthrough and your success depends on you being focused this year. When Peter allowed his circumstances to distract his focus off of Jesus, that's when he began to sink. So I believe God is saying today, don't become moved by the winds and the waves. Glory be to God. You got to stay stable, right? And without your focus, you become unstable. You're all over the place. And God is like, I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. <laughs> Glory be to God. Somebody going to be singing that song all day. I love you guys so much. If this is your word today, comment down below. Since this is my word today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video out to all who God leads you to. If you have not got your holy anointed oils yet, go over and get it. The link is down below in the description. To my super chat family, thank you so much for sewing into God's vision here on the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.